Hi, this is Eric Elder. I'm the online campus pastor here at Eastview, and I'd like to show you how we use some different video technologies so you can stay connected with others in your small group or in your team meetings or any other way that you want to connect with people. And uh, Zoom is like this. Right now, I'm just talking to a group of people. I'm going to pop them up on the screen. And here's uh, Jason and Dan and Stuart and Barry and Danielle. And uh, we're just having a conversation here about uh, how to use this technology. Zoom is one technology of several that you could use, but you could create an account uh, very simply, and you can start for free at zoom.us and just get started, and you can create a video chat like this and have up to 100 people in a room for free just like this. Um, but there's a, a deeper reason why we're doing it. Jason, do you want to jump in on that? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, I've heard this phrase and Jim did this uh, a couple of days ago that social distancing does not equal isolation, right? And so as the body of Christ, we're called to continue to meet together, just find creative ways to do that. And so this is a great way to do that because in all honesty, we need to love, encourage and support one another through these unprecedented times. I mean, we don't really have much control right now, but we do have the ability to connect and to interact. It's how we're designed. And so this is a great way to do that. Great. And I'm just flipping back and forth to two different views, uh, just so you can see a few of the features. Uh, we're not going to go through everything, but at least just to show you, give you a feel what happens um, as people want to talk. It's voice activated, so when someone talks, they can go in the big screen. Or you can switch with a button to gallery view, like you're seeing right now, and see everyone at once. As I say, you can have a lot of people in a room at one time. So there's a little chat room on the side. You can click the chat button, and then you can type and just talk to people off on the side, not interrupt the main speaker, and ask clarifying questions. Uh, you can also raise your hand. There's a little button. Uh, Dan, you want to raise your hand there and we'll see what that looks like? You just click that button, and that means, oh, Dan has something to say, so he doesn't have to burst into the conversation, but I can just click that button and say, lower his hand. Dan, what would you like to say about uh, maybe a pro tip for us? Sure. Well, one pro tip is the mute button. Uh, I encourage everybody to use the mute button unless you are speaking. Otherwise, the attention will be drawn to the incidental noise in the background. So use your mute button. It's great. Perfect. And Stuart, you had a comment about that when you're meeting maybe late at night and kids are around. What, how would you use mute button or mute your video? Oh, allow me just to unmute myself there. So uh, we have groups that are meeting after their kids go to bed, and that's a great option. And then uh, I've done it before where my four-year-old has literally been crawling over me while I'm having a meeting and that's just real life uh, happening there. So uh, they don't have to be immersed in it. So the best thing for me to do is just hit that mute button while I'm not speaking uh, and do my best to listen in part of the conversation. Perfect. Thanks. Danielle, you had some thoughts. Do uh, you want to share those too? Just to have fun with this, this new tool, um, our team has spent some time on Zoom this morning and we've just laughed a lot as we try to figure out the ins and outs of it. It's, it's, uh, it's not that complicated to use. It's pretty simple to just turn it on, but the, there's lots of additional tools in there. We've just laughed a lot and that's been good too. So if you're having trouble figuring it out or not sure how everything's working, just choose that moment to laugh <laughs> and, and let that lighten the mood a little bit in this heavy season. Perfect. Barry, you had a comment too about uh, using Zoom, not just for your uh, uh, bi-weekly meeting, but other times too. Sure. My group meets every two weeks, but with the bit of isolation we may all be feeling in this period, uh, I'm going to pursue doing uh, a Zoom meeting more frequently than that. Uh, weekly or maybe even just short 15, 20 minute connections for prayer twice a week or something like that. So obviously this approach gives lots of easy opportunity to do those types of things. Perfect. This has been so fun and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, very short training video. Uh, and uh, we just encourage you just to use it, to enjoy the time with each other, um, not to just make this a time of maintaining or just trying to surviving, but really thriving and you might find that this is a great way to stay connected way more often than you do right now and to really love doing group together. So hope you're able to use it for lots of ways. Everyone can say their bye and wave their hands electronically or in person. Thanks. Bye-bye.